Good morning guys, welcome to summer. It's warm again, I'm so excited because there are a couple of things that I really wanted to do today or that I really wanted to do before the cold weather came and now I get to do it. Uh oh, oh. So, first of all, oh shoot, I forgot to bring them out some fresh food. First of all, baby chickens are doing fine. We didn't catch it. We didn't catch anything in the trap, although Molly just banged it with her butt and it closed, so we'll have to reset that. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes with your food. I give them food and water every morning. I'll be right back. But wait, did this thing have dirt on it before? Probably, because I put the trap on there. Oh, okay. Nobody jump out. All right, everybody is fed and watered. Sam bought a new lock for this thing, so he's gone to get something and then he's gonna hook it up. So I have two uh, kind of big jobs that I wanna get done. Actually, three kind of big jobs. Everything's a big job when you have animals. It rained yesterday, half the horses are in here, and I wanted to just take a minute and brush everybody because after it rains and they roll, it must be uncomfy. However, this horse does not love being brushed. It's like, you can't brush me. You don't own me. You're not my owner. That's what she's like. That's my girl though. Don't chase my, don't chase my dogs. <laughs> Finish your lunch. Finish your lunch, I'll do you first. Just a little brush. I didn't bring out my curry comb. Wow, you guys are looking fat. Whoa, what happened there? What happened, Penny? Hey, you're having a rough day? See how they get like all matted down from the rain? Yeah, just give you a little brush. Yeah, feels good, huh? Isn't it weird how the bugs come out? Like there were no bugs for a week because it was so cold and now all of a sudden like one hot day, poof, there's bugs. And they are furry now. You couldn't really see before because it was cold and it just didn't look like it was enough. Oh my gosh. You got little fairy nuts again. I'm gonna have to take you in. I have to take you in and brush you. Yeah. Cause you need that, don't you? Yeah, my poor girl. Look at how dark she's gotten. She is a dark, dark pony. See, these are all the easy ones. Don't run away. Just let me give you a little brush. Feels good. She's like, nope. What's, what's the matter? So my friend keeps telling me that my horses are fat, which they're a little bit fat. And then my farrier was here and she said she's seen a lot of really, really fat horses. And she said going into winter like isn't chubby isn't that big of a deal because you know they're gonna burn that off. But also she said our horses are not super fat. She said that there are a lot fatter horses. Look at your lips. They're all green. Yeah, I know. Oh, when I walked in, I noticed that somebody's in heat. Storm is literally living his best life. Like if you were a boy and you had six girls all going into heat, hmm, wouldn't that be fun for you? Yeah, see, you just needed a little brush because you got hay all over you. Yep, the bugs. Wait, I'm coming to you. Don't worry, I'm coming to you. Let me do your neck because you love your neck brushed. I know, I know. I just wanted to give you guys like a, just a little brush. Anyways, I was watching Instagram before I came out here and there was this lady and she was posting about her disabled child and her disabled child had like a definite look about it. It was like some rare genetic disease. Hey, right, get away. So anyway, she, it was, she posted this video and it was to that song, you're gonna be pop, you know, you're gonna be popular. You know it, you guys know it. Listen, stop. I wanna brush her. Oh my gosh, you guys are just all mean. Anyways, and she said in the title, in the caption, she said like, when you post a picture of your child with a rare genetic disease that looks different from everybody else, and then she said like, you're gonna be popular. And it's like the same, it's the same with everything. It's the same with horses. Anytime you post a video of your horse, 
not perfect, whether it's not brushed, whether it's not the weight that people want to see, whether it's just learning a new discipline, which is a hard thing, then people are going to hate on it. And Lady gets a lot of hate. You get a lot of hate, actually. Lady doesn't get a lot of hate because everybody knows she's a really nice horse. Most people think she's a really nice horse. Are you in heat too? Is this like some kind of... Yep, she's in heat too. So there's a competition. There's a competition. But yeah, that's what happens. Like when you post anything that's different from what other people think is perfect, then, or if you just post something that's not perfect, you're gonna get a lot of comments and that's just the way it is on social media. In real life, people are not like that, which is so bizarre. Hi, baby. Hi. I know, she's like, you brushed me and you didn't give me a treat. Give me a kiss first and I'll get you a treat. Kiss. <laughs> right here. Thank you. I'll get you a treat. So the three things that I need to do I want to do today, so I want to give everybody a little quick brush just to brush off the rain from yesterday. And I want to clean the, the paddock one more time before like the snow and stuff comes. And I want to put all the leaves, I want to rake some and put them in my garden. Because I want to have all the leaves in my garden. Leaves in your garden will make my soil so good for next year. So those are the things I want to do. There you go. Thank you for the kiss. Can I have another kiss? My glasses are all dirty now because she kissed my glasses. Can I have another kiss? Right here. Kiss. <laughs> Thank you. It's disgusting. <laughs> See if Penny will kiss you. I have one yeah, more treat. Yeah, say. Kiss. Put your t <laughs> Kiss. <laughs> Let's see if she'll kiss me. Look, kiss. Kiss. Thank you. Kiss. <laughs> see if Lady will kiss see if Lady will kiss you. Kiss. <laughs> Nobody will kiss Sam. She's so confused. She's like, is this a trick? Nope. Anyways, I wanna get all that stuff done. But I just realized that I'm hungry. <laughs> I need to eat before I do any of that stuff. Come on, Ellie, Kirby, come on. Didn't Kirby look like a big dog running? Yeah, you're so cute. She's all slobbery because Kirby just bites her all the time. This is my garden and it got all filled with weeds again. So Sam's gonna drag it again, but I'm gonna fill it with leaves and it should kill all these weeds. It's actually scorching out here. So I checked my calendar this morning and Lola did not come back into heat. She was supposed to come into heat last week. She did not come back into heat. And even though I didn't see them breeding, this little boy did it. I'm pretty sure she's bred. You are a good boy. You are not a good boy. You don't have the ability. So I checked the calendar and Lola did not come into heat and she was supposed to come into heat and neither did, did Blossom. Blossom did not come back into heat. So there's a chance that Blossom did come back into heat and I just missed it. But it's because she, I saw her at the fence once. I just saw her at the fence one time and I'm sure she, anyway, I feel like she's in heat. And then Tilly is supposed to come into heat in the next couple of days. So we'll see, but I have a feeling, I have a feeling you guys, that everybody I wanted bread for this season is bread. It's so sunny now, like so sunny. Come here, big guy, what were you doing over there? Hey, everybody's having this nice reprieve from the cold. It just feels good, doesn't it? Yeah, it just feels good. Look at that big nose, don't jump on me, don't jump on me. I mean it. So last year, Sophie had a dream. She doesn't remember, but I remember. And she dreamed that Lola had three babies. So I feel like Lola's gonna have three babies. And then I also feel like Tilly, who had triplets last year, I feel like she's gonna have four babies. I don't know why, I just feel it. I feel like somebody's gonna have quads this year and I feel like it's gonna be Tilly. And then I feel like, ew, what did you just spit on me? What the heck? 
Hopefully that was, oh, that was not spit. What the heck? Why, why? Maybe somebody's in heat because he just peed all over his face and it went onto my hand. I just got peed on by a goat. Blossom had one baby last year, this baby right here. This one, this first one here. This one right above my head. So she had one baby last year and I feel like she's only gonna have two babies this year and it's because I milked her for a really long time this summer and she still has a lot of milk and goats can get goats can get pregnant with milk when they're when they're nursing and so that shouldn't be a problem but I feel like it's gonna deter her like I don't feel like she's gonna have a lot of babies I feel like she's just gonna have two babies so twins so that's what I think I asked Sam this morning Sam how many babies do you think we're three. gonna get one each and he said two and I said I bred three goats so now he's saying three I think we're gonna have eight I think we're gonna get eight babies many how many did we have last year like 11 yeah, but we only have three the red stuff so. i know so it's it's in that ballpark you guys i think we're gonna have eight babies he can reach that water right there and he can reach the one in the in his little stall but he still likes to have a little water out here for it's easy for him to get to he's <laughs> what are you doing jeez all right I know when I'm not wanted or maybe I'm extra wanted. I think he thinks that I'm, I think he, I think he, I think he thinks I'm a goat. I'm not gonna go over to the girl side because I really need to eat. So I'm gonna go inside and eat, but only, I only see a Posey the pig there. And her belly is hanging to the ground. Oh, she's laying down, she's having a nap. And then over in the corner there, I see another goat and I think it's Tilly. Everybody's probably super stressed from the heat because they have this whole winter coat. They have this brand new winter coat and now it's summer. All right, so it's a lot later and I did none of the things that I said I was gonna do today, but we'd started hardening off the chicks. And basically that means we leave them without the heat on for a part of the day. So we're gonna put the light bulb back in there. And so we're gonna put the heat back in there and get them warm for winter. We're gonna reset that trap. She won't come in no matter what. Oh, there she comes. <laughs> there she is. And there she goes. <laughs> Everybody who comes to our house, every, I know she's in the barn. Everybody who comes to our house and meets Daisy, though, says that she's beautiful because she's like glowing white. She's glowing white. She would never get dirty. Like people don't understand what she's like. She's like such a different dog, and she has such great body condition. Lots of times Dalmatians don't. She is like such a great shape. The only bad thing about her is she's deaf. Yeah, if she wasn't deaf. <laughs> it would be a lot better but look at her like she just has such a good everything Ellie banged into it and the trap and then she didn't go in the trap who would you say Daisy's second favorite person is yeah me I'm her favorite I'm her person Daisy me I'm her favorite person so who would you say Molly's second favorite person is definitely not you me no, I don't think you. Who do you say? Dad. Yeah, I think Dad. Then me. Then, then you. Put the flat, the light back in for the chickens. You took it out. Who would you say Ellie's second favorite person is? Dad. Dad. Who would you say Kirby's second favorite person is? Me. Do you really think so? She likes me a lot. She likes me too. She always comes and jumps on me. We literally locked Ellie. We locked Ellie and Kirby in the barn, and then we came down here. And we walked through the gate and they were already here. <laughs> Ew, I'm gonna stink like that goat. And Gabby and Sylvie says, Oh my gosh, how did they get here? It's a scam. It is a scam. <laughs> he's ready to protect. Get in there. Get in there. Now he's running away. Come on, little piggy boy. Come on. So it was cold last night and look. Do you guys see? Can you guys see the hole? 
that was our boy pig Snickers bed. Only his head was out this morning when I came in. I love that, that's so fun. It's official, Toffee and Cricket are almost exactly the same size. <laughs> Cricket, Toffee thinks that Lola is her mom. Lola is so loving. Lola loves babies. She loves babies and she's gonna have three of her own soon in like another four months. Hi baby, isn't she so cute? She's so sweet. She's my goat. I got her for Mother's Day. Sam bought her for me. That's and the most expensive Mother's Day ever. She was expensive because she has pulled. She doesn't grow horns. And she's registered. And I didn't want a black goat. And then when I got her, she was so short. I was like, oh my gosh. What am I going to do with a short, super short goat? But now I love her. I, I know. I love her. See, look. They're almost the same size. Almost. Cute. She's just trying to get milk. Probably. She loves milk. Alright, you guys go eat. These are the only two that aren't pregnant. Her and her next year. Next year. Don't you know that you're beautiful?